Hey guys, today is Monday and Ariel has been nice enough to take me to the bus station, the Tika bus station, which from what I've heard it's pretty good and safest and easy and reliable way to get through Central America for sure. It should be six hours to El Salvador and they told me yesterday they don't charge an exit fee, which is pretty good. So I am in El Salvador now, I'm in a hostel, a really nice hostel, it's called Joanne's, a very nice place, looks like it might be new actually, um, but you know what, so far all the Salvadorians are very nice, the customer service, they're just very nice about it, and I forgot to tell you guys about Guatemala, also in Guatemala they're pretty nice, because you know in Mexico they're not that nice. <laughs> And here they're actually pretty nice, which is it's pretty good. The city looks pretty good too. Uh, we're in the nicer part of the city, and I'm like a block away from like the university. So usually those places around the university are pretty safe. Usually. Oh, it's terrible. Like always, like so when I'm leg. in taxi, for example, and there's a bus next to me, I fuck, I make like. What I do? Hi right, guys, so we came to El Salvador downtown, San Salvador downtown. Uh, it's very busy, it's just another downtown. Come here, shop for everything clothes, electronics, food, everything's here. There's a lot of traffic to me. So, I guess this is their main plaza, which is pretty small for being in the city, I mean, the countries. But, so I guess that's National Palace and then this like a uh, basilica. That's actually a really basic church. It's like it's like flat dude, no yeah, the tower or something. Yeah. So municipal building over there. So you so you guys know I'm hanging out with these guys right here, they're from Germany. And your name is? Yeah, Johannes. <laughs> your name? Jenny. <laughs> I just met him in the hostel and they were like, let's go out and check out the city. So, I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> so we're in your typical market. They sell shoes, everything. It's just a typical market where they sell everything. We're gonna go eat something here. They have a food court. All markets have a food court. <laughs> So we're in a town called Pachinamelco, and this is their church. We came to uh, climb some mountain, which we will be doing in a little bit. But the people here are really nice. Like this police officer, I think, he just asked us what we were doing, and then he was, he was like, oh, well, I'll show you the, the church, and then this other guy is going to take you guys to hike the mountain. Pretty nice people. Really nice people. Yeah. <laughs> So we took a bus, little bus that dropped us off right here and now we're gonna go to the caves. There's a cave and then we're gonna climb that mountain, well that rock. <laughs> you ready? So this is a view from Boca del Diablo. And that's actually the church we were at, right there. Is that a swimming pool? I think it's a football field. Oh, <laughs> It's like a lookout mountain where all the lovers come and put their mark. Place to be like the tree. I can just stone. Are you religious? No, but no, we'll be going up I mean, there in a second. But not practice. So these are like the party supporters. And then we're all like all the way out there with like a big ass flag. What's wrong? Are you feeling okay? It's oh, feeling really super <laughs> Actually, the cave looks so much nicer from here. We peaked. Never hiked with music on. <laughs> so 
So there's this political party who has this, the music, the flags, all the young pips over there. Except nobody can see that flag. There's no one that can see that. <laughs> So now we're heading back to uh, San Salvador. There's more Germans in our group now. <laughs> we're having some burritos here. It's called Mil Burritos. Mil Burritos. A thousand burritos. And it's a straight up copy of Chipotle. Look at this. It's like. Same thing. We'll see how good it is. Though.